Hey everybody, just coming here for my weekly update. Um, I'll get right into it. Last week I weighed 269 and this week I weighed 267 for a loss of 2 pounds. Yay! Um, I think that puts me at 53 pounds so far. Um, so yeah, I'm happy with that. Um, this week is my 3 month post-op. And I'm starting to see changes. Um, I guess the changes were always there, but I was just, you know, when it's yourself, you don't really notice them until, you know, it's a big change. Um, but anyways, I posted a picture on Musi when I hit my goal of 50 pounds gone. Not my ultimate goal, obviously, but just like my first little goal um, of losing 50 pounds. And I had shown that to people on there, Facebook, and just, like, family and stuff. And I could really notice the difference. Um, but I'll let you guys decide on that. So, yeah. I went and saw my surgeon's PA this week. And I talked to her about the whole stomach ache when I eat a chicken thing. Um, so we're just, she agrees with me and just to avoid it right now. She's not really sure why that happened. Like why I was tolerating it and then all of a sudden I'm not. Um, so we're staying away from that. Um, we reviewed my blood work. And uh, like the B6 was high. Which I already knew about, so I, what I did is I cut out the complex, got a new multivitamin that had less B6 in it. Um, I think that was all. <laughs> um, but I noticed my shakes also had B6, so hopefully, you know, we're going to test it again in three months, and hopefully this will be enough to make it go down, because I don't want to have to do a new shake. You know, these ones took me a while just to get to this point to get these ones because for some reason my body is like nope on all the other ones I tried <laughs> um but also the zinc is low and I'm taking two zinc pills not pills but like capsules same thing um twice a day 50 milligrams so hopefully that'll be enough to up it um it's the Vitalady regimen basically um that I should have been doing but I got a late start on it <laughs> um, and then there's one more thing my copper was high before surgery and I think she said it's it was still high but the number before surgery was 250 and I, I haven't been eating like you know shellfish or anything like that that might cause it um, she thought that the doctor might want to test for Wilson's disease, but I don't think it's that because I was reading and researching, of course, online, and and I came across uh, one of the medications I was taking before, oral contraceptives, which I'm not taking now, by the way, since surgery, since it doesn't absorb. <laughs> um, anyways, the main ingredient in a bunch of those here in the U.S. is copper, so that was kind of interesting. I guess Squirt saying hello. Hello. <laughs> he just comes over and pecks at my mouth when I'm talking. <laughs> That's nice. Um, anyway, the main ingredient is copper, so maybe that's why it was high. I don't know. I don't know. Um, but they're going to test that again. And I stopped my copper I was taking. Um, my iron is normal. It actually doubled since I had surgery. <laughs> um, I guess maybe because I was eating a, lo a little bit of red meat here and there. Um, I don't know. So we haven't started on iron supplements yet. Um, but we're testing again, like I said, in three months at my six month post op visit. Um, so everything seems to be going good. I'm still losing. So that's good, and you know, no more stops, hopefully. <laughs> uh, but I, I guess my body's got to do that to catch up eventually. I just hope it's not soon, because I'm enjoying this. <laughs> um, but anyways, 
my doctor also cleared me for exercise this week. So that night when we came back, you know, of course, after driving in the car for four hours, <laughs> I got on my exercise bike and did 20 minutes. And the next day, I did a half hour, one of those programs I do on the bike. I don't know, where it creates its resistance, and that was, <laughs> it was a big milestone for me, because I haven't been on an exercise bike since 2008, when I entered my cell phone on. And I've been kind of afraid to get back on it, but I just went for it, and I wasn't afraid, and I just no. did it. <laughs> You excited? You're gonna sing, aren't you? Um, and then lately I've been noticing my energy has been slacking, or lacking, slacking. Um, and I haven't been able to do as much, so I don't know if it's just like a starting out, you know, new to exercise thing, or if it's a nutrition issue or what. But I increased my protein to 120 grams a day on the days that I exercise. Um, also been lifting two pound dumbbells, you know, got weenie little arms here, so <laughs> starting out with the two pounds weights, um, but like today I just did the arms because I'm just beat, I, there's no way I could do a half hour on a bike, and it was recommended to me to focus more on the, the weights and the strength training than the cardio right now, and I think that's, you know, pretty good advice because I'm losing muscle. Uh, I have, since I uh, weighed in at my surgeon's office, I think it was, I don't know, shocked me a bit. Like, I lost that much muscle, but I've been trying to focus on the strength mainly this week. And I don't think the cardio is making that much difference yet because, I mean, I'm still losing. You know, I'm still in the honeymoon phase. I haven't slowed. I haven't. You know, I haven't gotten to that point yet where I need to do it or I'm not going to lose weight kind of thing, you know. Um, right now I'm eating what I should. I also had my first vegetable this week. Um, after I had my protein, I had, um, it was a bag of mixed greens and spinach, like half and half. Oh, he's going to stay. Yeah, I was talking before this little one decided to sing. <laughs> um, anyway, I had tried my first vegetable this week. Um, it was half spinach, half for the mixed greens into one bag of salad. Um, I did a quarter cup of that and then some Caesar dressing. And it's funny because I've been craving a Caesar salad ever since I had my surgery. You know, of all things to crave, a salad. Um, so it tasted pretty good and it stayed down. Um, and I have that, you can talk, <laughs> and I have that, um, no, it tastes pretty good, I have that, like, once a day, maybe, if I get my protein in, Do I have it, because there's not really any protein in it, from my stomach anyway, <laughs> my nutritional needs, um, so that, that happened this week, um, so a lot of changes this week. Um, keep saying, um, <laughs> um, I think that I'm going to have to go make a trip to the thrift store, like, this month, because my clothes are getting big again, like my pants, and that, it's like a stretchy size 24, so I'm not sure if that's like a real 24, or if it's just, you know, a bigger one. I'm going to have to go because he's screaming. But anyways, I'll talk to you guys next week. I hope everybody's doing good. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.